Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place. I did not know what he was afraid and said. How awesome is God in this place. This is none other than the house of God, the gate to heaven. Brother Rob here, Evangelist Rob, how many all over the world agree with me? We serve and have an awesome God. How many agree with me all over the world? We're awestruck. We stand in awe of the presence of the Lord. Why do you think those angels 24-7 in the book of Rev, the book of Revelations, are standing in awe. There is an awesomeness about guys. It'll blow your mind. If you really ponder and think, or you knew, if God showed himself to you in his fullness, your brain would explode and come out of your earlobes. You'd have your brain gook all over you. No, I'm kidding you. That's kind of gross. But listen to these scriptures. These scriptures really capture the awesomeness and how great God is. There's no underestimating, or you cannot over-exaggerate or coerce or manipulate the awesomeness of Jesus. Now, before I continue to be an honor, if you're new, please subscribe. Also, I'm live every Monday, 9 p.m., 9 p.m. YouTube, 9 p.m. Monday's YouTube live stream, Thursday's live stream, Zoom. I'll pin the ID and the passcode in the Zoom. Jacob had a dream. There's an open heavens. He sees angels going up on a ladder. They're going up, getting revelation, coming down off the ladder, bringing revelation down. He says, how awesome is God in this place? He realized God was living in him. Now, listen, this wasn't even the new covenant. Jesus has not yet shed his blood, guys. So could he have been born again? Technically not in the Old Covenant until Christ shed his blood. So the grace new covenant could come where the veil was rent in two. But he had like, I would say, like some type of Christophany where Christ appeared to him. And he said, this is none other than the house of God, the gate to heaven. He realized his life could be a gate that people could have access to find Jesus through him, hallelujah. Now, Psalms 33 and verse 8, let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. We stand in awe of God. We stand in awe of Jesus because he is awesome. He's awe with an S-O-N. He's We stand in awe because he's awesome. Psalms 66 verse 5, he is awesome in his doing towards the Son of Man. Psalms chapter 99 verse 3, let them praise your great and awesome name. He is holy. Psalms 119 verse 161, but my heart stands in awe of your word. Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 17. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great God, mighty and awesome. Last scripture, Jeremiah, prophet Jerry, brother Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 11. But the Lord is with me as a mighty, awesome one. Mary said, oh, magnify the Lord. Jesus is our father who art in heaven. How great, how awesome. Man, you can't put it into words. It's out of our vocabulary. We cannot capture the awesomeness and we stand in awe. If you're in agreement all over the world, give your comments how awesome God is to you. Hit the like. I call it the like button, the amen button. I call it the amen. Hit the like button if you believe and receive and agree with me that God is an awesome God. The Lord bless you guys in Jesus' name. Amen.